The Underground Railroad was a secret network of routes and safe houses that helped people escape slavery to settle in Canada as well as in some free northern states. Some believe that secret messages in the form of quilt patterns helped enslaved African men and women escape the bonds of captivity in the southern states. Likewise, it is believed that singing gospel songs was a means to communicate among slaves who traveled the Underground Railroad. The lyrics provided verbal, coded communication that uncovered hidden messages and warnings about their travels. Wait in the water, children, wait. The bold, selfless acts of one determined individual contributed to the freedom of many, Harriet Tubman. The Black Moses, as she was often called, is well known for leading many enslaved people to freedom in Canada by following the North Star. She made countless journeys and never once lost a passenger. Tubman, a runaway slave from Maryland, was determined to abolish the misery and suffering of her people. Before achieving fame as a conductor on the Underground Railroad, Tubman was an enslaved African woman. She felt like she almost was actually free as she toiled with little supervision while felling trees and cutting up lumber in Maryland. Once, while in the fields, she saw someone trying to escape and got involved. She was injured and in turn became more steadfast in her wish to be free. Tubman was the youngest of her family and worked with them in the fields. When she married and discovered her husband was not willing to head north with her, she set out alone. She then ventured to Philadelphia, where she associated with abolitionists and learned about the connections of the Underground Railroad. When the far-reaching United States Fugitive Law was passed in 1850, Harriet Tubman guided fugitive enslaved African men and women into Canada. Angry slave owners posted rewards for her capture, but she continued her work despite great personal risk. Tough and courageous, in spite of her petite frame, she always carried a weapon intimidating those who supported slavery and discouraging enslaved people from backing out of the strenuous journey. She threatened anyone who considered turning back, knowing the danger of those involved, revealing the routes and safe house locations. As the conductor, Tubman had the problem of keeping people motivated and together as they traveled by night and hid by day. Because Tubman was so successful at organizing these group escapes, slave owners offered high rewards for her capture. She is thought to have led as many as 19 rescue missions. While the possibility of torture or death or being resold into the Deep South always existed, it was the loss of family members that Tubman feared most. She made a point of rescuing all of her family, settling them in both Ontario and later New York State. She gave her life to making people free. St. Catharines, Ontario was one of the towns in which Harriet passed through on her journeys. The town offered employment opportunities to the escaped enslaved people. Many of the former fugitives settled there, including her own parents, brothers, sisters, and their families. Harriet Tubman lived in St. Catharines from 1851 to 1857. Harriet's role in the Underground Railroad movement was one of the many inspiring accomplishments of her life. She was an activist in the abolitionist movement, worked as a nurse in the Civil War, and served as a spy for the Union forces in South Carolina. The need for the Underground Railroad ended after the American Civil War. Tubman had been actively involved with the Northern forces as a nurse, spy, and cook. She supported suffrage and founded a home for the homeless before she passed away in 1913 at the age of 93. God's gonna trouble the water.